Hello and uh, good evening to everyone. I hope you're all uh, staying safe at home. I welcome you all uh, for today's uh, webinar on how to take online meeting uh, using uh, Zoho classes and Zoho meeting. Thank you all uh, for joining on uh, today's webinar. My name is Harsh and I will be a co-host for the day. Um, I work with Zoho classes and I'm really excited uh, to be uh, hosting this session uh, for the day. Um, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, today's speakers, Mrs. Uh, Meenakshi, uh, Principal of Shishya Oyama School, Mr. Dev Anand, Director of uh, Product Management, and uh, Nevis Peter, who will be the uh, Head of uh, Customer Engagement here at Azo Corporation. So before we uh, go into the presentation, uh, there are a few housekeeping items to cover. Um, so the first one will be uh, today's webinar will be a recorded session, and this uh, recording will be sent to you as an email uh, in a couple of days. So um, we'd love to hear from you uh, during uh, today's presentation as well. So if you have any uh, questions, uh, please use the uh, Q&A option on the left-hand side of your screen and post your questions there, and we'll be answering them uh, at the end of this session. So uh, before I uh, hand over the session, I'd like to give you a brief introduction. Um, the COVID-19 has uh, resulted in schools shut all across the world. Uh, globally, over 1.2 billion uh, children are out of the classroom right now. Ready or not, uh, online teaching is here, and we have to start adopting to it, uh, considering the fact that this will be the new normal uh, moving forward. Um, teachers are now starting to reorient their teaching methods, like they're creating PDFs, PowerPoint presentations, giving online assignments. Um, all those that you see in the uh, high-end uh, high colleges are now slowly going to happen in a village, uh, in a remote location in India. And believe it or not, Zoho Classes is going to make it happen uh, seamlessly. So classes uh, is not only a temporary solution as a part of your COVID-19 uh, relief plan. Uh, the changes that the coronavirus has caused might be here to stay. And classes, so classes will be that one-stop application where teachers can interact with the students without having the need to juggle between uh, many uh, disintegrated applications. Um, this new hybrid model of learning will emerge with significant benefits. Online education will eventually become an integral component of school education, and that will be the new normal. So without any further ado, I'm uh, handing over the presentation uh, to uh, uh, the principal, Mrs. Meenakshi. Uh, over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Harsh. That was a lovely intro. Uh, uh, welcome, teachers. Welcome back. And uh, a warm welcome to the new teachers who are joining us from the Ju uh, June session. Uh, in today's presentation, the webinar, it's a hands-on demo. So all of you who have connected to your computers, please have your mobiles next to you. And because her, today's demo is going to be hands-on, so they will be giving us a lot of homework, you know, and a lot of class work to do as well. So please keep it open, right? And uh, uh, also welcome to the admin staff because they're also here because uh, uh, when we are going to launch this product, we, we will first learn its application. Uh, today after the demo, the next 48 hours, or uh, two or three days max, uh, will be a hands-on training for us. That's why we have already started the WhatsApp group. So whatever they introduce to us today, please try it at home repeatedly, plan for your classes, and make sure all your doubts you know, make, uh, are covered and uh, 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 addressed, and make yourself comfortable with the app. Because by Thursday or Friday, we plan to send the email to the parents also and have them also connect to the app. And uh, the admin personnel from Sisha OMR will be the interface between the parents and Zoho because the parents will also need a lot of handholding on how to use the product. Okay, uh, so they will take that on and we have to give the parents also two or three days time. All right, so uh, welcome everybody. And uh, without uh, much ado, I am going to hand over the podium virtually to Mr. Devanan, who I think is the next speaker. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Um, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, my name is Dev. I'm handling Zoho classes at Zoho. Um, I would like to start the um, session right, by saying three things. Um, after that, we will move into a um, hands-on uh, tra training, okay, um, where uh, Mr. Nevis Peter would uh, lead you through a laptop-based uh, training, and uh, Mr. Harsh would be leading you through a mobile app. Based training. Okay. Um, before we get into that, can I have a quick uh, poll of how many of you are in laptop um, or mobile? So I'm just creating a poll now. Please. Uh, 
take part in this. Okay. So as the, if you have a laptop in front of you and if you're joining this from a laptop, please click on laptop. And if you have a mobile phone with you, um, please click mobile phone. Okay. Um, so when you're at this task, I'll continue my speech. Um, the three things that I wanted to talk about is, um, first, I wanted to uh, uh, thank uh, uh, the Sishya correspondent, RS sir, for giving us this opportunity. Okay. So uh, he called us uh, um, a couple of weeks ago and then explained basically what Sishya OMR has been doing during this uh, lockdown period. And uh, we wanted to extend it further by adding Zoho classes so that we can start sending assignments to children. Okay. And then we had a call with uh, Meenakshi ma'am. She explained all the um, wonderful efforts that you teachers have been doing. And then we had a small task team, um, myself, Meenakshi ma'am, Shanti ma'am, Gina ma'am, and few other uh, admin staff. So we created a small setup and then we started onboarding all the teachers. By June 1, uh, we should have all the thousand students on the Zoho classes platform and they should be uh, taking lessons and assignments and consuming the courses from the app as well as the Zoho meeting product, right? That is the idea. And uh, so thank you, sir, for uh, having the trust on us. The second uh, thing is I, I really wanted to thank uh, each one of Fisher's teachers, right, who did a great job during lockdown. Uh, this happened all of a sudden. It was totally unprecedented. Uh, we didn't know what to do, right? Uh, Harsh was mentioning 1.6 billion children uh, were left without schools, right? But the beautiful part is uh, education continued uh, amidst all these negative things, right? So I heard some beautiful stories of teachers using all the hacks that they could, hacks, jugads, whatever, they could uh, come up with all the creative ideas to continue education, right? Uh, I heard that the uh, teacher was using the micro microwave grill um, as a phone stand, right? So that you can place the camera properly and teach. So hats off to all of you. Uh, we were inspired by the efforts of uh, teachers during lockdown, and we created a video called uh, Thank You Teachers, which we circulate among uh, in the WhatsApp to everybody. Because we, we feel that is a, a very noble gesture from the part of teachers. So hats off to all of you. And the third thing is, uh, many of us think that uh, COVID will go away and uh, we will go back to our normal days of teaching. I strongly believe there is going to be a new normal. Okay, And the new normal will include digital education to a great extent. See, digital at any point cannot replace face-to-face. -face. I'm not saying that we will send teachers away and have all the uh, coaching through um, online medium. Uh, that is not the point. It is a very good augmented uh, medium where it can take away a lot of pressure from the teachers. I'll explain you this way, right? In the last five to 10 years, India has witnessed a phenomenal growth in smartphone adoption. Sometimes for the wrong reasons, like PUBG, TikTok, sometimes for good reasons, right? We have the world's cheapest mobile internet, right? And we also have 700 million smartphones today, right? Which is the projection for 2022. Now, in a country of 1.3 billion people, if 700 million have smartphones, I'm not talking about basic phones, these are primarily smartphones with internet connection, which means we can reach a kid any part of India with a smartphone. Right? Laptop adoption is still less. With laptop, you could reach 30% of our students. But with the mobile phone, you could reach 99% of the students. That is the idea. Okay. Now, this revolution uh, is taking shape in other industries. We have uh, entertainment industry where movies are getting released in mobile platforms first. And we have uh, all our groceries, online shopping, everything happening through mobile apps. In education, the same phenomenon happened in course companies. Like companies like uh, Baiju's, LMES, Akash, people who build courses for a price, right? They took advantage of this and they were the uh, early adapters of this model, the digital content model. Uh, but the problem is it has a limited impact in the society, right? 
only the people who could afford to spend um, 60000 70000 or uh, 1 lakh for such courses were able to buy these courses for their children the normal schools the conventional schools right there are 1.5 million schools in india none of them could have this technical platform till date okay that is what zoho wants to bridge this is the gap that we wanted to address we wanted to bring all the schools worldwide to a common platform where they could have the content creation tools where they could have the assignment tools where they could have the course uh, video tools right for a private school like all the content uh, built in a very secure and private manner which they can give it to their students right this is what we are embarking on this is the effort that we are uh, uh, leading uh, so far and it has been in development for more than one and a half two years now and we are very happy to have sishya on board right so with that uh, three points i'm now moving to our poll result so that we can move uh, to the next uh, topic okay now we have 37 people on laptop and 21 people on mobile okay so now i am uh, leaving the session to mr nevis peter who would guide you on how to use the laptop step by step he will ask you to log into a url and give you 2 minutes time he you can log into the url and then he will tell you how to create a feed okay he will click create and show it to you and he will also show a mobile app where the created feed appears on the mobile app right so when he is on it please try to follow him step by step uh, so that uh, we can also see how you progress and then uh, we'll move to the mobile uh, training okay thanks a lot uh, once again i'm leaving the session uh, to nevis nevis thank you dev hello uh, welcome everyone i'm nevis peter i'm heading the customer engagement part of zoho classes so we are really excited to welcome you all today so now we'll get started with the web portion so let me share uh, share you my screen all right so i've just uh, mentioned the url of the zoho classes web portion on a chat so kindly refer the chat for the url uh, it's going to be studio1.solutions.zoho.com so once you get into this url um, you need to log in with your login credentials as a teacher so that's going to be the login page of zoho classes so once you get into zoho classes uh, you can find list of different tabs here and uh, i'll start up with notice board so notice board tab uh, you would be able to or any teacher or any administrators would be able to create new feed or new post so let me just uh, walk you across through the feeds uh, that was being created in the past so these are the list of feeds that was have been created so maybe right from the description you can find to figure out uh, let me create a new feed so that's going to be the new feed so in case you want to make any announcement or you want to uh, publish an assignment to students to a particular class you can get into the web version as well and create a new feed so to start with notice board name is going to be your your name in my case i'll mention my name and the description so maybe the description maybe can be a kind of any announcement so i've already made a description all right so that's going to be my description and that's the description follow with that to which class you want to publish this description or this feed to in my case i'll pick up the sample one we have as training and i'm going to click on save so once i save this so a post would be popped up to the students so on the other side i have the student login so I'm, let me save this so once so now you can find a new feed has been added so students would be receiving this notification and let me refresh and that's where the post is going to pop up so this is how any teacher or an administrators can make announcements or make any kind of feed or post right from the notice board uh, notice board module so that's going to be the description 
So likewise, let me come back to the web version. So not just uh, any announcement, maybe in case you're going to create a meeting. So we have a tab here called Zoho meeting. So once you get into Zoho meeting, you would be able to create uh, a new session. Can I interrupt you for a minute? Yeah. Yes, please. Can, you, can you give the participants one minute time and ask whoever is in the laptop sure. uh, to maybe post a message? Keep your mobile phone on. Uh, okay. Let's see if anybody sends a message. We should get the notifications if somebody sends All right. All right. I can get it. All right. Uh, so, uh, everyone, kindly please. Uh, I hope like most of you guys have already logged into the web version. So, that's the web version. You need to get into this URL and log in with your credentials. So, once you log in, you can create a new feed and maybe I should be able to find out the messages here. So whenever you create a new feed, uh, kindly map the class as training. So you can find it right here. We are just waiting on the other side. Great. All right. So I got a first feed saying hello. Maybe in case you have any clarifications, you can reach us on chat. Great. Great. Can we see the phone, Nevis? Can we see your phone? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, put, lock the phone so that we can see the Notification. Or notification of that, all right. So I got one notification. Great. Wonder I'm we got a new notification from Vandana, ma'am. Great going, Vandana, ma'am. Thank you. All right, I got a second notification from Rekha, ma'am, as well. they have to create the feed in the training class only then it will appear in this uh, login right if, if yes, some right. of the teachers are creating yes. another, like 12a 12b it will show right. it in the 12a students class yes so wait, so... On wait on the screen uh, yes correct thank you okay. so teachers please create a new feed on the notice board uh, module and you need to select the classes as training All right, I got next notification from Jesse. Great. <laughs> yeah, I think we can move to the next topic now. They got the idea now. Great, great. Sounds great. Then. All right, so. So teachers, I would uh, urge you to play around with the notice board module and try creating feeds. And please do ensure you map it to the right class. That's to the training class. If it's going to be 12A or 12B, it's, it would be uh, sent to the re real-time students after onboarding. Great. So that's going to be all about notice board. So let's move on to the next functionality, which is Zoho Meeting. So Zoho, you can find the Zoho Meeting tab on the web portion. 
so zoho meeting is going to be a ground uh, for you guys to come up with the online meeting and schedule webinars i hope most of you guys do have hands on experience on it so in case you want to start uh, start a new meeting you can get into the meeting now and start a session so once you start a session there would be a public url all right so now you can find how to start a meeting so here you can maybe all right so i can find the participant url here so i need to copy this url or maybe i can use this copy link and come back to zoho classes so within zoho classes you need to get back to the same notice board module and you can create a new feed mentioning your name and hello students and you can define the url here so this is going to notify the students and students would be able to join from there and i'm going to pick the class here as training and save so once this has been saved so, so the students would be notified so i get into this notification being a student and that's how the experience would be for students and you get into this and click on the meeting.zoho so now the students would be able to view my screen so they can either join from a desktop or from the web version as well All right, maybe I need to download the app. This will take hardly less than a minute. Great. So the students can mention their name. Maybe I can make the student name and yes. So you start a session on uh, Zoho meeting, all right, and uh, the teacher session would be shared as well. So now you can find, so that's going to be the student version as well. All right, so let me come out of this. So this is how you can create a new session on Zoho meeting. And you can share this, uh, the public URL as a new feed here. So that's going to be about a Zoho meeting. And follow with that, we do also have the Zoho survey here. So by using Zoho survey, you uh, you would be able to create any kind of multiple choice question, maybe a list of questionnaires. So we do have a one, a sample one. So I get into this specific entry and I can find the list of questions. So I have a, all right, so I have just a question here to give you a outline of how things looks like. So that's a questioner. Maybe in case you want to add more questions, you can just drag and drop. So once questioners are constructed on top of Zoho survey, you can come back to the summary and you find a URL here as well. So copy this URL and you can again come back to the notice board module and likewise how a new feed was created for meeting. Likewise, you can define the URL right here. All right. So now I'm going to paste the URL here and save. So once I save this, I would be notified. That is, the student would be notified. Maybe. All right. So I haven't associated to a class. So I'm going to make it to the training class. Great. Got it. So that's going to be the questioners. So any student can get into this specific feed and tap on the URL. 
the student would be redirected to the questionnaire page and the student can pick the right option and hit on submit. So that's going to be multiple choice within Zoho CRM. I'm sorry, within the classes. And quickly, let me get into the Zoho Writer as well. So Zoho Writer is going to be a space for any teacher or administrator to compose a document. All right, so you can create, a, uh, you can find we already had created few documents. Or, so in case you want to, you want to construct a document you can create and over here we we do allow a space to publish the document so once this document is published you can capture the url so that's going to be the public url so likewise how it happened on zoho meeting and the zoho survey you can copy this uh, url and come back to zoho uh, classes web portion and create a new feed as well so that likewise down the same pattern students would be notified and they can click on the link and access the document which is created on the zoho writer and uh, so in order to showcase the presentations you can use zoho show so all these tabs and modules are predefined within your zoho classes web account so now this is going to be a zoho show which is exclusively made for presentation purpose so you um, so any teacher or any administrator can create a new presentation and once the presentation is created they would be able to share this presentation to the students so it's going to happen on the same way maybe i can show you so this is going to be one of um the presentation that's been created for this webinar so here you can find publish so once you publish this you can find a public url so you can copy this url come back to zoho classes notice board and come up and create a new feed maybe i can create once again i'm going to just interject here nemis if you don't mind uh, the teachers who you know uh, who are earlier using Zoho Meeting and all, we created our PPTs or all. Uh, with this new product, you can come here and you can create and you can upload volume, video, everything will be visible and heard. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so now I added a new feed and that's been notified to the student as well. That's on top of the mobile app. So I get into this feed and I would be able to find out all the presentations. So that's going to be the experience of a student. So all the presentations would be visible to a student right from the Zoho Classes mobile app. So that's going to be the Zoho Classes notice board and integration with the uh, Zoho Show Writer and Zoho Meeting. So over to you, Dave. Uh, thank you, Nevis. Uh, um, let's now give a uh, like couple of minutes for the teachers um, yeah. to maybe post some other feeds if they want, uh, sure. and then we'll move on to the uh, mobile uh, version. So basically, um, what we have done is, um, in addition to um, having the classes app, we are also bringing the content creation tools into one UI, right? So um, you can create your own documents, right? So we understand that teachers um, with Zoho meeting, you solve the connectivity problem. You're able to see the kids, right? You're able to deliver a lecture. That problem is solved. But when you have to uh, deliver something, you need some content, right? So for creating that content, today people go to Microsoft Office or they go to Google Docs, right? Then again, it becomes fragmented. Each teacher uh, has their own set of documents and uh, it is not in one repository. It is not getting stored. See, the idea of Zoho classes is that when a school completes one year with Zoho classes, right, the next year when students join, the one year of lecture is already available in the product, right? For example, tomorrow somebody, Devanand joins in 12th standard A, right, in uh, Sisha OMR, uh, the next academic year, he would have all the courses pre taught and available in the digital format in the app. Right, all the material, everything will be there. So that is the idea. So now we have, because of that, we have brought in online test tools, uh, writer tools, document, I mean, PowerPoint, 
excel sheets everything into the uh, single console so i recommend teachers to go back uh, play around with the product you can create unlimited number of documents it's all stored in the zoho cloud and for each teacher we have a separate space like everybody gets uh, their own set of documents and uh, online tests everything so give it a try any uh, difficulties that you face in um, using these tools we have this whatsapp group for teachers where you can post it and we'll be able to uh, help you right um, so now i think we'll move on to the mobile demo harsh yes dev uh, thank you so much so uh, right uh, welcome everyone uh, right now i'm going to give you a demo of the mobile application so you have seen uh, nervous um, has created a few notice board actions when i say notice board actions he has created few feeds through the uh, laptop portion so we are going to see exactly the same thing uh, inside uh, we'll see how we can do it from the uh, mobile uh, application so I guess um, we can run a poll uh, asking if uh, everyone uh, has their mobile phones ready so that I can start the demonstration. Okay. All right. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you. Right. Um, I hope uh, you all can uh, see my screen. On the left hand side, uh, on the blue color page, you have the. Uh, uh, I'll show you the teacher login, and on the uh, right hand side, on the yellow color section, I'll show you the uh, student login. So I'm logged in as a student uh, on the uh, yellow side uh, section. So uh, right now, I log in as a teacher as well. I guess all of you uh, should be having the application. Uh, okay, we'll wait for some time. Uh, we have so many people on mobile app, man. So I already see 27, 28. Okay. Very good. You can carry on. All right. Um, so if you have the mobile application, uh, the first step uh, that you need to do is you need to log into the account, obviously, to uh, start creating contents uh, to your children or students. To uh, log in uh, to the application, on the very bottom, you can find five uh, icons. At the very end, you can see the option called as account. Click that, and you'll be taken to this page. Click on login, and select admin slash teacher. If you're an admin or a teacher, uh, you'll have to log in uh, into this application as an admin or a teacher. If you're a student, just click on the student parent section. But right now, uh, since I'm a teacher, I'm logging in as a teacher. So I'm. Um, Login into my account. I'll just put my screen. Okay, so I'm signing in. Right, so this is the very first page as a teacher that I will see inside my application. On the yellow color section, you can see this um, page. This will be the student's view, the very first screen that the student sees when he logs into the application. Uh, just below the feeds, you can find two tabs, training and all feeds uh, for the student's section. Uh, the training is the class to which the student belongs to. And all feeds is a section um, where the student will get uh, the feeds regarding the complete school. So on the teacher section, you can find two tabs called as my feeds and all feeds. As a teacher, any feeds or a post that you post is saved inside the my feed section. Under the all feeds, you can find all the posts that, are, that has been made by all the teachers from your school. So to quickly view your uh, separate feeds or uh, your posts, you can come to my feeds and search for all the feeds that you have posted. And if you want to make some changes, you can quickly do that. So uh, the first page or the first screen is a home screen. Like I said, the home page is nothing but just like a, a, a notice board that you have in your school or a classroom. So any uh, 
notification or any post that uh, if you want to share it to your children you either post it on your notice board or you go to a class and tell them uh, tell the children about uh, the certain updates or whatever is happening in and around the school to create such a feed you can click on this plus icon uh, with, where you can see on top right corner just click on that and you'll be taken to this page where you have uh, a separate text box section where you can type in uh, the message that you want to convey to your children we have five different types of feeds on top as you can see assignment rsvp vote and acknowledgement i'll come back to that later so the normal feed is just like a uh, in simple terms it's just like a circular that uh, will be sent through the school to uh, sent to the school through the uh, different classes so for example um, if there is an announcement in school saying that uh, day after tomorrow is going to be a holiday the administrator can quickly uh, create a post saying that uh, the school will be on holiday in two days. So I'm just typing it out. Um, teachers, you can try while I do the same so that uh, you get an idea of how this is done. So uh, to create this, you need to click on this plus icon you see on top right here. Just click on that and type a new message. This is exactly like how Nevis showed you uh, from the web version, but in a much simpler factor. You can do it from the mobile uh, application. So I'm just typing a simple message. That's it. Uh, and I'm posting it to a particular class. Since I'm posting a message about a school, this will be sent to the complete school, right? So I would select my class as all classes and post it. So when I select all class and post the uh, feed, this will send notification to all the children uh, in that particular school. So I can see, I can already see a few posts flooding in. I think uh, you, uh, you uh, teachers uh, know how to use this. That's it's really interesting that I'm getting a lot of notification from the uh, mobile application than the uh, uh, laptop version. I think this will be very useful for you to uh, use inside the mobile rather than laptops. Again, it's based on your convenience. Um, all right. so. This is how you do it, right? Uh, all right. And then, so that's about the normal feed. It's just like a general uh, announcement that you send to your children or uh, class. Harsh. Well, oh, yes, sir. Can you just show them how to attach? Uh, a yeah. YouTube? So uh, the next is uh, you find this attachment section on top, right? So when you touch that, you get six different options. You can select photos, you can select videos, or you, or even you can select YouTube links. For example, if you find some educational content in YouTube, you can uh, copy that YouTube link and then just paste it here. Uh, you'll get a text box here. You just paste the YouTube link and click OK, and then uh, paste the message. For example, if you want to uh, create an assignment based on that YouTube, you can select this assignment tab, assignment section, and uh, send an assignment uh, to your children based on YouTube. So that will be a different uh, way of uh, sending assignments to your children. Even they might find it interesting. So I'm just uh, writing a message here. So I select a YouTube link and I just uh, paste it here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Okay, so I'm quickly uh, pasting this link here and I'm posting it to the training class. Um, training because I don't want to uh, bug all the other children who's in this school. Um, okay, so right now when I create an assignment, uh, I have a section to select the end date and time. So when I select an end date and time, I am uh, creating uh, an assignment end date or uh, a date before which an assignment should be submitted. So I want my children to submit an assignment before Friday morning. I'm selecting this uh, particular time.
and I'm posting it. So when I post it um, on the children section, uh, yeah, this is the uh, students uh, view on the right hand side on the yellow color section. You can see that this uh, particular uh, child has received this assignment, uh, so-and-so assignment. So as a student, if I want to submit the assignment, I click on this submit assignment option and I click this submit your assignment tag at the very bottom of my screen. I select, uh, I can submit as a student, I can submit my assignment as a photo or a PDF. Right now, uh, I have uh, did something in my uh, uh, computer and I'm submitting it uh, as, a, uh, as an assignment. So I selected this uh, particular thing and I'm submitting, as a student, I'm submitting the assignment. So once I submit the assignment, the teacher uh, will know uh, how many students have actually uh, submitted the assignments. So on the blue color uh, side, you can see the assignment, uh, the number of assignments that, which has been submitted for that particular post. So I just click on that assignment section as a teacher and I click submitted option. I can see the student uh, who have submitted uh, this particular assignment. I'm just clicking one uh, student to see his assignment. So when I open it, I can see his assignment uh, directly from the phone. I can even download it or I can share this PDF to some other teacher for evaluation. Okay, so this page will show up the uh, assignments from the student as well. Um, not sure, I think this is taking some time to look. Check the other assignment. There were two, right? Check the other. Yeah. Yeah, you can download the PDF directly. Click on download. Okay. So there you go. Uh, we have the uh, assignment from one particular student. So he has submitted, he has uh, written something on a sheet of paper and uh, he has taken a photograph of it and submitted it. I can see the assignment of that uh, student here in this section. So Hush, I'll, take, uh, I'll yeah. take a minute here. So uh, yeah. teachers, when we ask uh, students to submit assignments, uh, sometimes it is um, very good to just ask them to write it in a piece of paper and take photographs of the sheets that they have written and attach for two reasons. One, there's absolutely no way somebody could copy that, right? The PDF could get circulated in WhatsApp, right? So we are in a remote uh, learning situation. So it's not like a classroom. So we know the handwriting of different children. So this is like 100% uh, authentic. And number two is... Um, even if all the digital things happen, uh, there is no bigger exercise for a human brain than writing, right? So children are nowadays writing lesser and lesser, and we wanted to encourage people to write and submit. So they can write any number of sheets, 10 sheets, 20 sheets. They can take uh, 10 photos and attach. What we will do is we'll stitch all the 10 photos together into one PDF and send it to the teacher like this. And this is all stored in the Zoho Cloud. You can view it anytime. In future, you can evaluate it, put some uh, notes on top of that and send it to the student, right? So all this can be done later, but now we have a very good mechanism to collect uh, the written um, assignments. Continue, Vaj. Right. Thank you, Dave. So that is about uh, this section. Uh, we call this as a feed section. Uh, so in the feeds, you can post different, uh, notifica different notice notification uh, to children. You can post announcements or you can post assignments uh, etc. in this section. And the other few uh, options are it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can send voting options to your children to uh, get to involve your children in a decision making process. Um, you can send an RSVP if you uh, want to get confirmation about something from your children, you can do that. Uh, this, the user interface is pretty much the same. You can attach any picture uh, or a video or a course or even a PDF document to the uh, uh, feed and then send it as a notification to your children uh, to, while sending an assignment also you can create a pdf you can uh, create some um, good for like for example if you're an english teacher you can write a paragraph and create that as a pdf and send it uh, to your children writing some questions in this text box and uh, send it across to your children so they can write it in a separate piece of uh, paper and then attach it take a photo and attach it as an assignment to the section we'll move on to the uh, next uh, feature uh, which will be the uh, attendance part. So to go to the attendance part, uh, you, at the very bottom, you'll find uh, the second tab called as students. Just click on students. And on this page, 
uh, you'll find uh, all the students uh, belong to your school and classes, etc. Uh, select attendance, uh, which is on top bar. Uh, you can see me sliding across it. So attendance will be the third uh, item there. Just click on that and select your class. Uh, in this case, training is my class. I'm selecting training. And I can see all the children who is uh, inside the uh, training class. So if I want to mark the uh, uh, attendance for these children, I'll just select them and mark as present. Another way of marking uh, attendance is you can send assignments. So when a children submits, when a child submits an assignment, the uh, attendance for that child for that particular day uh, is marked as present. So these are the two ways where you can uh, mark the attendance uh, from the Zoho Classes mobile application. And then uh, we'll move on to the uh, next section, which is the courses. The courses, this will be one of the uh, important uh, feature for you uh, as a teacher as well, because uh, you can create contents uh, from this section uh, and then upload it inside the uh, Zoho Classes application so that your children can view your courses anytime, uh, whenever they feel convenient uh, to watch the course. For example, if a math teacher is uh, teaching some calculus lessons, um, in in a real scenario, if a child is in a class, he might, if he loses his concentration at least for five minutes, uh, he will lose uh, that important section of that particular topic. And uh, he might be hesitant to ask the teacher uh, the doubts as well, because uh, not all the children are very uh, positive to ask uh, doubts to their uh, teacher onto the face, right? They might ask their friends to ask him or they might uh, refer their friends uh, to clear their doubts. But in this case, if you upload a course, if you create a nice content and upload it as a course inside the courses uh, feature of Zoho Classes application, uh, the children, they can watch this course as many times as they like until uh, they get a hold of it. So to create a course, let's see how to do that. You have this plus icon on top. Just click on that. You create a nice video content uh, sitting at home. You can uh, have a blackboard or a whiteboard just behind your back and uh, Assume, assuming that you are in a school, you can start teaching the children uh, without any interruptions as well. So just start teaching it, record a nice video and upload it to your uh, phone. Or if you are in a laptop, you can upload it directly from your laptop as well. From your phone, if you have it sent it to your phone, I'll just click the speaker video. I'll go to my video library and I'll uh, select uh, my video. Uh, assume that this is uh, the video that I've made about the uh, uh, visit to Apple Orchard. So I'm choosing this. This is uploading now. I'm giving it a title. Uh, it would be good to tell the teachers how, uh, what is the length of the video they can upload? Uh, they can upload, uh, the length is not limited here, ma'am. Uh, so uh, if you want to upload a 40 minutes class, you can do that. but uploading it will be uh, a bit difficult based on the uh, uh, the size of the video that they are creating so for example if they are creating a 2 gb file size uh, it will be it will take some time to upload that's it that is all the patient they need to create a course here so there is no limit for any uh, length uh, for the video that they are creating thank you so, welcome ma'am we, we want to replicate the experience uh, just like a physical class. So if a physical class goes on for 40 minutes, we need to have that 40 minutes session inside the courses application as well, because that will be really useful for the children. They can take their own time, but uh, again, the, that 40 minutes will be an uninterrupted session. Um, if a teacher is taking that 40 minutes in a physical classroom, it might take at least two periods for them to actually complete that uh, particular topic. So yes, um, right now I'm selecting a class. I'm selecting the training class again. Done. And I'm uploading. If I click on that, it just uh, uploads the video. And this will also send a notification to the children saying that uh, there is a new uh, course which has been uploaded uh, in the ESO classes by uh, this particular teacher. Uh, you can try the same. Uh, while this uh, completes. Uh, just one question. Uh, so we have to be on the app and watching till the entire video is uploaded? 
uh, you should not close it, ma'am, because uh, the uploading is in progress, right? So you'll oh. have to uh, have the app open. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, having the course uh, uploaded will be advantage uh, will be a great advantage for you because um, once you have created a course, uh, let's say for example for an eight standard section you have created a max lesson course. Um, when the sevens, yeah, uh, a teacher has already uploaded a course. Sri Vidya, I think oh. uh, check the right hand side. There should be a new course. Is it this one? Okay. I think uh, he must not have chosen the class as training. Okay. Anyway, uh, you can see the course that I have uploaded from my uh, teacher uh, teacher side uh, application. Now the student can see the course which has been uploaded by the teacher. Since this student belongs only to the training class, he can see that video which has been uploaded to that particular class only. Um, the student, uh, the student will not be able to see the courses of other classes. So, I, like I was saying, um, if an eighth standard uh, teacher uploads a course, when a seventh standard student approaches eighth standard, the teacher need not have to uh, create a course again because uh, and already a course is there for that uh, eighth standard student about that max lesson. So the children, uh, so, so the student, uh, I'm talking about uh, a situation after this COVID period. So if, when they go to the class again, they will uh, sit in the class, listen to the uh, lesson, etc. And when they come home, they can go back to the Zoho classes, go to the dates and courses section. They can uh, revisit what they have been learning. They can see or they can um, try to understand that lesson in a different manner by uh, in a different manner. Um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, so that's about the uh, course. Just one thing that I wanted to add here. It's not about watching it at the end of the year. If a student is absent of, from school on a particular day, this uh, eases the problem. We don't have to redo the lesson at all. Yeah? Exactly, ma'am. Correct. No, what I meant was, uh, if say, for example, if a seven student is uh, going up uh, a class, if he is going to eight standard, if he misses a class or if he is not, uh, if he was not concentrating on that, class for that particular day, he can always go back to the Zoho classes application, go back to that same lesson and uh, watch the video to understand better about that uh, content or lesson which the teacher was teaching for that day. So anyway, this will be an added advantage only for the uh, children uh, as well as for the teacher. They don't have to uh, go through the trouble of creating a content again for the uh, eighth standard student because the content is already there inside the application. So that's about the uh, courses section uh, from the uh, Zoho classes. Um, and then a quick uh, overview of yesterday. Yeah, I need to speak a few things about the courses tab because it is very important. Um, so what happens is, as you prepare your courses and deliver through this medium, okay, uh, after a period of time, you can stitch the courses into one bigger course group. Like you can have 12 standard physics course group where you can have um, courses one chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. All that can be. Uh, arranged in that particular order okay and uh, in case of another school that we have onboarded uh, from march they have around 300 different course videos like this like right? 40 minutes uh, 30 minutes uh, course videos um, which are already uploaded here right and all the 12 standard uh, chapters 1 and 2 have already been pre-recorded and distributed through the zoho classes that is the advantage that i was uh, talking about right and if you have a, um, um, a, a TV, okay, a smart TV, you could actually project these courses to your smart TV, like, the, like mirror the course to the smart TV so that you need not uh, worry about the smaller screen, right? So we already have seen the benefits of um, um, mobile. Now you could have actually see the benefit of a bigger screen as well, right? So, um, okay, so I'll just uh, give you an overview of how the application would look like once uh, all the process has been completed. I mean, once everybody has onboarded inside the application. On the left-hand side, you can see the teacher's view. 
So this is how uh, the application would look like. So once uh, you start flooding in the application with feeds or with notifications and assignments, this is how it, it would look like. Uh, you would you will have an unlimited scroll of feeds uh, in your school. And yes, I forgot to mention the check-in option. So I'll just explain that. Um, okay, so you have when you click on this add icon on the home feeds the home section, uh, when you touch this attachment icon, you have an option called as check-in location. So when you do that check-in, um, this will be helpful when you take your children to your uh, field trip or something. For example, if you're going for a tour or a picnic, uh, if you want to alert their, uh, your children's parents about your about your whereabouts, you can simply go to this, use this check-in option. For example, if you're going to Kodakanal uh, as a part of your uh, trip or tour or something, the teacher or the uh, uh, main uh, teacher who is looking after the children can create a post saying that they have reached such and such location um, at this time uh, and they can even share uh, an important contact number to reach to for the uh, so that the parents can uh, reach out to the teacher uh, whenever they feel like contacting the children or uh, whenever they feel like getting more information about the trips uh, in which the children are in so that's about the home section in the student section this is how the page would look like you'll have uh, your different children's uh, uh, information here you have the classes admins etc and the store section uh, the school can uh, sell the school merchandise uh, like uh, if a sports event is coming up and if they want to sell some uh, sports stuff they can use the store section and sell their sports stuff or even they, the school can sell their own uniforms uh, through this section uh, the courses of, of course uh, you might have seen this I have explained uh, in detail about you in detail about this course section and then you have the video section in the videos you can create um, live videos uh, you can embed your youtube channel the school's youtube channel in this section you can even uh, add your school photos all the uh, events that has been conducted in the school you can uh, click that uh, you can click the picture of that and post it here in the gallery section the children can view them uh, anytime uh, they like so that's about the uh, zoho classes uh, mobile application so uh, I hope uh, all of you are well versed or I think uh, most of you uh, have got an idea of how to use the application. If you have any doubts in, uh, on how the application can well be used, you can uh, use our WhatsApp channel and uh, uh, send your questions there. And of course, we'll be having a question and answer session also. Yes, there. Yeah, so we can go to the question and answer session now. I think we have a few questions. All right. yeah. All right, so we'll move to the uh, Q&A uh, session. Uh, I'll start from the beginning. Um, so kindly give me some time. Let me just go through the questions. And I would like to thank Anupama, ma'am, for uploading a course video. I can see that. Um, ah. uh, UKGB. So um, Preeti, ma'am. Um, Kirti, ma'am. So Vandana, ma'am. Okay. Ma so they have... Uh, um, we have a question. Uh, can't we use both devices, like whichever is free to use at that time? My daughters are also, uh, okay, my daughters also will need devices. Obviously, you can use whatever is available. Right. Um, and uh, teachers, I, we would like to uh, hear from you. If you have questions, please, po please post it in the Q&A session so that we can answer them uh, right away. Uh, people uploading the course, please make the price as zero for now. I'll tell you what is the idea behind that price concept. We are looking at uh, phase uh, one now, where a lot of schools and students adapt uh, this uh, Zoho classes product. Okay, the phase two would be course sharing. Like um, any course that is created by Sishya OMR could actually be opened up for every uh, ICSE student in India. Okay, there is a possibility uh, and there is an option to open that up, right? So why should somebody do this? So we have um, well-equipped teachers in cities, right? We don't have a good economics teacher or a accountancy teacher in rural areas, okay? In such, in such cases, teachers from uh, metros travel and try to teach them as part of their um, ambition or hobby, right? Uh, as a social service, some schools do that. 
right now with this platform if a school in say erode or tiruchi or some other place uh, they have onboarded students in zoho classes right if sishya opens up one particular course right the uh, anu radha ma'am uploaded a course video now right assuming that is a very good physics course now if uh, sishya wants to open that course to public they can say it is public what happens is students from that school or any other school will be able to use that material right teachers can download that material and use it to teach right and going forward there is a possibility that these courses could also be priced for example you put this particular uh, chemistry course is uh, 250 rupees right and some 10000 students uh, all over india buy that it could be a revenue stream for uh, conventional schools see all these uh, technical um, features were not available for conventional schools so far which we are trying to open up right so course sharing uh, could be a very big thing because we are also working with uh, azim premji foundation uh, where they come up with beautiful courses for uh, for lakhs and lakhs of teachers right and uh, we are looking at a possibility where a bigger school could contribute course to a uh, smaller school right it could happen all over the world so that is the idea behind that uh, price keep it as zero for now thank you thank you dev uh just one minute okay okay so they asked if any teacher can mark the attendance for any students inside the application yeah it is now uh, any teacher can mark the attendance because teachers uh, take multiple classes so if you have a specific request about this uh, feature we can discuss this in the uh, whatsapp group with the exact uh, screenshots so that we understand it better thank you dev um, okay. i'm just answering to a few of the questions as we speak oh, okay uh do you have any board option where we can write and teach simultaneously <coughs> white board we have in webinar do we have white board in webinar is anisha on the call yes dev i'm here uh, we do not have white board at the moment okay yeah all right um thank you okay um i i'll just show a teacher has asked me to show how a student can upload the assignment i'll just show the real quick so uh for a student to submit the assignment uh you can see my phone here right on the uh, yellow color uh, section so this is a student login uh to submit an assignment the student obviously has to log in and click on this submit assignment option so when i click the submit assignment option um it would give me an option uh to submit my assignment here so i click on that and then i'll have uh, two options uh, i can either submit as a photo or a pdf so right now in this case i'm selecting a photo and i'm selecting uh, one of the assignment uh, let's assume that this is a assignment which i have written on a piece of paper and i have taken a photo of it and i just as a student i just click submit and that's it so that assignment will be sent to the teacher uh immediately so that's how a uh, student submits the assignment i hope that was clear sir um okay uh, a teacher has asked this question dev in survey area is it possible to uh, correct them uh, yeah we have the uh, scoring option so uh, when you try a survey uh, look for an option called scoring where you can set the correct answers right and uh, when a student submits they will put their name first say devanan and then say for question 1 the answer is a for question 2 the answer is b when they submit you will immediately know that they got 8 out of 10 correctly or 9 out of 10 correctly so we call it scoring uh, it is part of the training so try creating a survey uh, su- circulate it and if you don't get it please ask us in the whatsapp group thank you dev I think this question is for Anisha. Is there an option to mute all kids at the same time and unmute at the same time? 
Uh, yes, in meeting, we have mute and unmute all option for the teachers. So the teacher can just go to the attendees list and uh, they can mute everyone and uh, they can mute, uh, unmute everyone. And they can also individually mute a particular student and unmute a particular student. In webinar, by default, everyone will be in muted state. Thanks, Anisha. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think uh, next question is pretty uh it is for anisha uh, can we share desktop with students while taking class just like the session yes you can so the teachers will have the start sharing option so you just have to click on the start sharing option after starting the session to share your computer screen or mobile screen with your students okay. thank you anisha um okay so the next question is can we see all the student attendees on our screen because here i can see only one person at a time all right, because uh, today's session is a webinar in which only the presenter, uh, that means the teacher's video will be visible to the students. However, you can host online meetings where both the students and the teachers can see each other and you can also view the video feeds of all the students. So we support a maximum of uh, 25 video feeds. So you can see the video feed of 25 students at a time in online meeting. Thank you, Anisha. I think uh, this will answer Vandana uh, ma'am's question also. Um, OK, we'll uh, continue or we'll wait for another five minutes for the uh, Q&A session, and then we'll wrap up this uh, webinar. OK, so next question is, what is preferred to use, Zoho meeting or webinar? Um, as last time, we used webinar only. OK, uh, so the main difference here is for online meeting, uh, it is mainly used for your web meeting purposes, like online collaborative needs, where both the presenter and the participants. Here, the presenters are the teachers, and participants are the students who can see each other and collaborate effectively using the audio and video. On the other hand, webinar is used for broadcasting purposes, like today's session, where we were demonstrating or providing a training, and all the attendees are muted by default. And uh, in webinars, the attendees' video will not be visible. So based on the requirement, you can go with online meeting. In case if you want to view the student's video, you can use online meeting. If you want to broadcast some sessions or trainings, you can use webinar. Thank you, Anisha. Mm -hmm. How do I delete course that is uploaded? OK, and, so I'll show you. Um, yes. Uh, before you go to the next question, I wanted to actually add to what Anisha said. Um, it's very simple, right? Teachers, do you want to see all your kids? OK, if the answer is yes, I want to see all my kids in my laptop. I have 25 children. I want to see all the kids in my laptop. Then you use Zoho meeting. OK, that is the answer. It starts with. Do you want to see everybody? Yes. Then the answer is Zoho meeting. The second point is, I don't want to see everybody. Right? For this, for whatever is happening right now, right? we are not actually seeing all the uh, 73 participants. right? Only they are seeing us. If this is the use case, you use webinar. And both the features are available inside the same product. It is called Zoho meeting. If you go inside, uh, the layman term would be, I want to see everybody as product uh, feature A. I don't want to see everybody is feature B. OK, so please use accordingly. And the feature set varies for this one versus this one. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. So I'll just answer this one question uh, by uh, my three ma'am. I think, uh, how do I delete the course that is uploaded? So it's pretty simple uh, to delete a course. You just have to go to your courses tab, uh, which is the third tab from the bottom uh, section. Uh, select the course that you want to delete, for example, this one. Um, select the uh, edit icon on top, this one. This way. And you have the uh, trash can icon on top. Just click on that, and you'll delete uh, the course which has been uploaded. Will the teacher have an option to video mute the students? So that's another question. Uh, Yes, so once the audio is muted in online meeting, the video will not be visible also. All right. Um, thank you, Nisha. I think, uh, uh, Dave, uh, shall we wrap up the session now? Yeah, I, I think it's time. We'll just uh, say thank you to everyone and then wrap the session. Uh, thank you all for giving us this opportunity.
Um, I want to thank you all uh, for attending uh, today's uh, webinar. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, like I said before, uh, I think uh, no, uh, we'll be sending you the recorded uh, version of this um, webinar to your email address uh, in a couple of days. Um, thank you again, um, and stay safe, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. You might all you please exit. Thank you. <laughs>